Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. We are uh, just preparing our last minute preparations for the for the session, which will start in another 20 minutes. Give us some time. If you have any questions, write it in the chat. Uh, there are three handouts. The presentation which Mohammed Ibrahim is going to present are already uploaded. You can use this time to download them and have a look. And uh, once the session will begin, we will uh, um, it will begin in another 20 minutes, and then we will use the same presentations as you are seeing them. For for now, I will keep the uh, camera and everything off for you people so that um, uh, it does not um, you know it does not affect so give us some time and we will be back with you i hope everyone is is doing good and be safe should give pulses can be counted out uh, by using the CMC binary input. Power quality analyzer as well can be tested. Uh, electrical measurement transducer, transducer also can be tested. And BMUs, which is uh, one of the modern application to monitor all the load um, transfer from point to another point. We call it a uh, load flow. Uh, merging unit, which is related to IEC 6150, one of the main uh, equipment which it will tra uh, transfer or translate or transform the analog signal to assemble value digital form, can be tested also by using our equipment. Multimeter uh, and power meter, current clamp as well. This is our whole family of the CMC. I will start with the first one, one of the strongest uh, equipment in the market, CMC356. It can give you 10 analog output, four uh, voltage channels, six current channels. For the voltage channels, each one from zero to 300 volt, you are able to control the magnitude, you can, are able to control the phase angle, and also the frequency as well. You can get the DC pure, you can get AC with a different frequency as you need in your application. For the six current channel, we have from zero to 32. Again, you can control everything, magnitude, phase angle, and frequency. And at the same time also, you can use it for many application like differential, or even you can use it for non-directional overcurrent in case you need to use a three phase. Sometimes you need a higher current, no problem with this. You can change the hardware configuration, which enables you to get higher current with a higher burden. For example, if I need to get from zero to 64 ampere from the CMC356, it's a kind of uh, easy process, a piece of cake. Just you, ha you have to change the hardware configuration, change the wiring connection, and you will get instead of uh, zero to 32, you will get three phase from zero to 64. It's very easy and straightforward to change. The second uh, family member, which we called CMC256 Plus, CMC256 Plus, it is typically number of a channel as 356, but the main difference is the precision because we know that uh, IEC recommend to have a device uh, 10 times better in the precision than the device under test, which is the energy meter and transducer. For example, if you have an energy meter with class 0.2 or 0.2S, you, ha you have to use, not you have to, it's a kind of a recommendation. You can use 356 or you can uh, use 256 plus, but 256 plus, it, it is 10 times better than 0.2. We will guarantee air limit not exceed 0.02, it means 10 times better. Then CMC256 plus recommended in the measurement application. And at the same time, because of the high accuracy, higher precision, the current is less. Then instead of getting 6 channel, 32 ampere, you will get a 6 channel, but 12.5 for sure you can use a uh, different hardware configuration as well. We have a new product since two years back, it's called CMC430. Uh, one of the main benefits, it is a very handy and a very light device. It's around 8.7 kg 
which you can use it in a very narrow places or in a difficult place to climb. For example, if I have a substation and I would like to climb a, a mountain to reach to this substation, this will be the perfect selection for this. It's 8.7 kg. Again, also, it is also high precision as 256 plus. We have a CMC353. It's a younger brother for CMC356. The difference is number of current channel. Instead of six channel, you will get three channel current. Then 80% of your application in your in the substation, you can do it with a 353, except 20%, which is remaining, is a differential or transformer differential for sure. Uh, after this, we have CMC310. CMC310, it's a kind of a budgetary uh, device, which it's a, a little bit cheap, but not little bit, it's a budgetary actually device in case if you don't have enough budget to purchase CMC353, then you can purchase CMC310, which is only used for basic testing with a CM control application to control this um, uh, device. And in future, once you have a budget, you can upgrade it uh, for uh, to be CMC353, and this is a hardware upgrade. The last, pro uh, the last product, which is uh, uh, CMC850, CMC850 from the name, it seems that it is working for IEC61850, but full digital application. Maybe some of you will ask, if I have CMC356 or 256 plus, is it enough to test IEC61850 and instead of using CMC850? Yes, definitely yes. But the main difference is CMC356 or 256 plus or any other CMC, it can give you analog, ch analog channel for the conventional testing plus the digital sample value, which is used for IEC61850. But for CMC850, it is only dedicated for a full digital substation, no more. We have many solutions for controlling our CMCs. The first one, which is a quite famous, which is a test universe for sure. And I think it is a, a well known for all of you, but I will talk about this one later in a little bit more details. Relay SIM test, this is one of the very innovative software. It is focused on system-based testing. It is focused on the whole protection system, not only the parameter setting of a single relay. The third uh, software is called CMC, uh, CM Control B. It is available in three shapes. First one is a hardware. Second one is an application is already available on Android uh, market, Google Play. You can download it, you can use your uh, Android tablet or Android mobile to control the CMC as well. And the third one, it is a Windows uh, software that you can install it in your PC, on your laptop, and you can also control the CMC. And because we are talking about a tablet or uh, Android mobile, then for sure we offer a wireless communication through a Wi-Fi stick. It is already available, this feature, if you your unit, has need to hardware available inside this, your CMC. The last one is a CM engine. It's a kind of uh, software to program uh, your own test software instead of using any other software like Test Universe. It is a kind of a programming to open you uh, a new horizon to program whatever you need to do it. I know that some customers use our CMC in many, many different applications like, um, like transformer testing, for example, circuit breaker testing, and many, many other applications which is not designed uh, for uh, using CMC. But with the same engine, it's opened a new horizon for us to test many, many other uh, test assets or assets. Uh, test universe, one of the main benefits is a BTL, and this is, I will talk about one, uh, this one later in the next session, which we will talk about automatic testing. Test universe, for sure, it is designed, and one of the main feature, it's comprehensive test software, suited for the protection, glazed, transducer, energy meter, power quality, and many, many more. 
Uh, also, it is uh, based on, uh, it, it can be used for automatic testing by using one of the feature called Omicron Control Center, OCC. This will be also our topic for the next, for the next presentation. Automatic reporting for sure, and also its full support, IEC 6150 application for Google sample value and client server, and sometimes we call it MMS. Tools for measurement and uh, analyze, it's called analyzer. Your CMC, if you have an ELT-1 hardware option, you are able to record the disturbance uh, of the, your power uh, system. Then it is a kind of portable disturbance recorder plus direct measurement plus trend recording and harmonic analysis as well. BTL, nowadays we have more than 404. As you see right now, it is uh, more than 390. This is a little bit uh, uh, old uh, presentation. Since only a few days back, we upgraded the number to become 404 free of a charge template you can download and you can start to test your endomerical glay with a very, very simple steps. And this is what I will talk about in the next uh, presentation. We have a relation test. It's a, one of the innovative uh, uh, software which is used for testing something which is complicated, never tested before. Like what? CT saturation at site to be tested, to be considered uh, uh, inside the protection testing, uh, relation test can do it. What else? CVT transient behavior can be considered during testing our uh, digital relay or uh, protection relay which you not considered before. Mutual coupling, we can test it easily by using a relation test, and this is one of the uh, uh, function which we never tested with the conventional testing before. And many, many more, uh, like power swing uh, phenomena, we, we need to test with a more real simulation. Relation test will doing this, and this is, will be the last topic that we will discuss today. And a relation test is a very easy uh, tool to be used for transient simulation. It can control multiple CMC with only one PC, and also it can do iterative closed loop for testing logics. CM control, it's a very basic uh, testing software that it can be used for uh, controlling the CMC. As you see, it's a very a kind of a touch screen which you can select any test module and straightforward you can start to do your test. But this is mostly for basic testing, not for automatic testing. Uh, but uh, the good news behind this, you can also create automatic reporting and you can print it out. We have three shape of this. As I mentioned before, we have the hardware, which was called CM Control P hardware. And also we have an Android mob um, mobile application uh, you can use it on your tablet or your Android mobile. At the same time, also you can download it, download another software uh, suitable for Windows operating system. You can use it on your uh, PC. Uh, the last one is it's called the CM Engine. As I told you, it's a kind of programming that enables you to program your own test software, and uh, most of uh, uh, most of the manufacturers. They like this feature a lot because they can specialize application for their uh, products, which may be it's not available in the test universe and they need to automate their test uh, plan inside their factory to reduce the time more and to save a lot of uh, uh, cost. Like what? Uh, we have uh, some examples like uh, energy meter manufacturers, they would like Instead of using a test module, uh, they, they, they want to create their own test plan. And as you see right now, maybe you can create your test plan embedded in Excel file. Just you run it. And if you have a mass production, you can use the CMC to test the whole product line with a kind of this solution. That's all for our uh, first presentation. Please feel free if you have uh, any question, ask and we will try to answer you. Thank you for the overview, Ibrahim. Um, what I will do is uh, um, I will open a, a poll, a kind of a, a short survey to understand 
the kind of audience that we have right now. So there will be a poll. You can just click on it and it, uh, to give your responses. There are simple multiple choice questions. Uh, you can uh, uh, select. Uh, it's it's easy just to understand what kind of customers that we are having uh, right now. So the first one you will be seeing is uh, the kind of CMC that you have used. So does not matter if you have owned it or not, but just what have you used. So you can click on the screen and you can give your responses like this. And there are a few more questions which I will ask just to understand three more, uh, four more. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, Ibrahim, um, from all the CMCs that you have shown, which of them, like uh, if someone has to, uh, let's say, make a selection. Uh, so if a, a typical transmission company or a typical distribution company uh, has to select, so which of the CMC would be most suited for them? What is your uh, guideline for selection? Actually, it's based on the application for sure. But for example, if I have a customer from the transmission line, uh, for sure I would recommend to give him CMC 356. Why? Because CMC 356 can be used for the high burden, all kinds of protection relays, whatever it is, electromechanical, uh, static, or uh, digital relay. This is one of the points. The second point is it is also uh, uh, can be used for all the applications that he, he, he needed in uh, the transformation network. But if, 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 if I will come back uh, to the distribution, I would recommend to use CMC353, but this is based on one point. In some distribution companies, they are taking care uh, over current and very simple uh, protection relays like uh, under and over voltage, under and over frequency, which CMC356 able to uh, uh, to give them the good uh, uh, solution for that with a managed uh, budget. Uh, but some distribution company, I think it's uh, uh, in GCC here, uh, distribution, but they are, uh, they are taking care about line differential and distance application and uh, transformer differential. In this case, I will recommend 356 like transformation because it's the same application. In case right. of uh, a service provider, for sure, definitely 356 with the maximum license uh, for the test universe as well to over to overcome all the applications that you will face. All right, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, so, and the software is also a, a separate part. So hardware is one part sure. of the story and software is another part. So. It's 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 interesting. Uh, let's see uh, what the rest of the presentation will uh, will have yes. for us. So and regarding so, regarding this, maybe I will add one point. It's a very very important for sure. But uh, to recommend one hardware, it's a kind of uh, a platform that you will use and you will build up uh, based on your license. But at least you need the platform which is suitable and fits to your application. Once you have it. Uh, even in future, you can purchase more license or upgrade the license. It's a kind of a software, yeah. but the platform you already own. This is this is the most yeah. important. And uh, customers uh, or participants, feel, please feel free to uh, ask your questions related to this topic in the chat, and I can uh, unmute you or maybe put your questions up for discussion also. So, as you can see, I'm. Uh, uh, also managing the the polls so thank you for replying to that also much appreciated and this is just to understand uh, the kind of demographics that we have today last question uh, easy one so the um, one of the other thing which uh, Ibrahim you mentioned is uh, the software licenses which can be added but I think one of the Another challenge which is uh, which is coming at this moment is for the communication board. And uh, uh, maybe if you can spend a couple of minutes talking about that uh, also, because over a period of time, the communication technology has changed a lot and uh, we need to uh, keep the equipments uh, kind of uh, relevant to the time. Yes, you are. Uh... Uh, right, uh, it's a very important right now, uh, especially you know uh, the communication development is very fast compared to 
uh, other signs. Um, as well, also, we have to be up to date for the new application. And that's why we developed the new communication uh, card called NET2. And you can easily uh, recognize, uh, is it a NET2 or NET1, or even parallel from the uh, shape of this card. Uh, NET2, it will give you four times better transient memory uh, and faster than NET1. Uh, imagine four times better, uh, then I can use this in uh, advanced translate application, for example, or even during uh, using relation test, it will be much easier, much faster, and it will give me a longer time for uh, simulation. Uh, plus all of these also for NET2, it will give you the possibility for uh, wireless uh, communication. And as we mentioned that, maybe from your mobile or your Android tablet, you want to communicate with the, with the CMC. That's why so NET2 uh, will, will with normal mobiles this. we can do it. We can uh, we can control it yes. with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only the only condition is it's Android. We are supporting oh, Android right, right now, but uh, I. Uh, I am in discussion with the product manager. They said that uh, very soon, not soon, but in future, we will also uh, consider iOS. The um, product management uh, took the decision to start with Android because as you know, Android is uh, uh, widely uh, available everywhere. Also uh, price-wise, it's managed. Uh, you can find a tablet with uh, less money compared to iOS for sure. That's why we That's focused good. on Android. We started with Android, but in future Great. we will also start with. That would iOS. be that would be a good uh, good update. But uh, if I can actually, use my actually, Samsung uh, right now, that's, yeah, that's all uh, yeah. Regarding to the latest technology, you need to actually a lot of uh, features. One of it, if I'm a customer, it's a kind of update proof. Uh, it means that uh, it means that I updated my CMC, which I extend the lifetime of the application okay. for more than 10 years more. And this is one of the benefits. Why more, why else? Uh, we have many features added due to this uh, new technology, like in relation test, as we will see later, you can use two CMCs to synchronize to each other without GPS. Why? Because with the new technology, one CMC can act as a master clock, giving the, uh, uh, the uh, time synchronized signal to the other without it using any extra accessory. And this also will save money and also save time because that's very easy connection, just a plug and play. A lot of feature like this by, by upgrading need to. Is it available for the existing customer? For sure. Uh, is it available in the product? It's already available in the new product line since uh, three or four years back. All right. Great. I would not uh, keep the. I will not uh, sway the presentation away. So you continue with your uh, session. We have used ten minutes uh, from uh, from your time. So keep keep that in mind. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we will talk about the art of automatic testing. What kind of art of automatic testing? Maybe people will think, okay, automatic testing. That okay. I have advanced distance test module that I bought a many test points, test shots, and I have many RAMs to make search test or check test. And this is a kind of automate, automated testing because just I will, I click play and it will be an automatic way. Actually not this way because this is a kind of semi-automatic, it's not a pure automatic. Uh, what kind of automatic I mean? I mean mm, all function inside your uh, numerical relay must be done in automatic way. You do need to uh, do everything separately. And also one of the benefits to get one test report for the whole function inside your relay. I will give you one example. Uh, let's consider maybe ABB relay. I will use it today as an example, ABB RED670. ABB uh, RED670 is a multifunction relay. It has a line differential, plus distance, plus the directional is false, all other function like under and over voltage, under uh, and over current, uh, many, many backup protection is already available inside this relay. To test that kind of um, a multifunction relay, one test module is not enough. And even if I start to test over current separately, distance separately, the uh, line differential separately, then I will have multiple uh, test report. And also it is a kind of wasting your time and your effort, even after this, because you need to 
manage this during the maintenance. In automatic testing by using Omicron solution, which is, we call it OCC, Omicron Control Center, it makes it more and more easier and more straightforward. As we see right now in front of us, we have to start with the test object data. Uh, you have uh, X-Rayo, and actually, to be honest, not only X-Rayo. X-Rayo is already supported by ABB, supported by uh, GE uh, for uh, Mycom Relays, which is under GE now. It's uh, supported since long time with uh, Siemens for sure, and uh, Schneider. And what, what about the other manufacturer like GE UR Relays? It's CSV. Is it supported? Yes. Uh, what about ACL, Schweitzer uh, Relay from US? Uh, it is not giving X-ray, it is giving TXT. Is it supported? Yes, definitely yes. Then we are supporting most of the relay manufacturer, test object data, X-ray, and all that, all similar uh, data. Uh, after this, we need to uh, create the hardware configuration, which is suitable to test all function below. And after this, we need to insert a different test function by inserting different test module. Outcome of this, we call this OMLO, O-H-M. O because O is represent a test object. Uh, H is representing hardware configuration. M is representing test module. As I told you, if we have an example, RED670, we need the x ray which is a test object data. We need also the hardware configuration. How many analog output? Uh, uh, like for example, I need three phase voltage output, three six current output, maybe three current output as per my uh, active uh, uh, active uh, protection function in this relay. And after this, I will start to add the test module. Okay, I have a a differential, I will use a differential test module. I need a distance, then advanced distance test module, maybe overcurrent, I will insert an overcurrent test module. Then I have a complete test plan with only one file, not different file, and with only one single click, it will start automatically, give you some instruction to follow, give you some information you have to check during your testing. Then you are, uh, collaborate or collect the whole uh, test test uh, uh, plan inside only one file that it will make your life easy. Test plan can easily be built and maintained uh, and distributed. And this is also a very good point that if I am a service provider, I will do my test in very easy and very accurate and high quality way. Once I finish, I will hand it over to the maintenance team that they will take care about this maintenance again. My effort, I did it for testing this relay, and also the maintenance team will use the same effort that I can. I, I did it before. And the good news is I can anytime modify as per relay setting get changed. For example, we have the line for between the two substation. In future, after five years, 10 years, uh, we have a modification, uh, an intersection coming, and there is a new substation in between. Then. The same relay configuration, the same relay uh, uh, information, except a new setting should be applied. Then in this relay, nothing, only export, import your new setting, no more. You don't need to modify anything else in the same uh, test plan. And this is something very, very beneficial for all of you. <coughs> Testing time can be significantly uh, reduced for sure, and also the standard. This is a kind of a standard. If I am in a utility, I have to create my own standard. Then this standard should be fulfilled with all tested plans, which I have to approve. Then I will take care about the standard rule and rules inside my utility. I will not allow anybody to use his mind to create his own uh, test plan, which may be not fit to my network. And this is something very, very important. We have many examples already uh, worldwide who start to use our automatic testing and they prove that it saves a lot of time. You know, in South Africa, for example, ESCOM, they mention this, that they reduce 70% of the cost because of automatic testing solution. In Mexico, they said 80% of the effort uh, released once they used automatic uh, testing. 
in, in, in Australia, for example, they said around 50% of the cost uh, uh, saved because of using automatic testing. And if you would like to share with you uh, 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 all of these survey, all of these calculation, uh, please uh, send an email to my colleague uh, Aditya and we will share with you all history about this and how the saving money and effort uh, after applying the automatic testing. Uh, again, I will come to OMLO, which I mentioned. Oh, it is a test object, which is mean device under test. It can be relay, it can be uh, energy meter, it can be transducer as well. H related to the hardware configuration, which is represent uh, CMC hardware configuration, how many channels you need, how many input you need, how many output you need to configure. And the last one you need to test to both uh, test modules based on the how many function you need to test. Automatic testing plan. As you will see right now here, this is a kind of example uh, of a complete test plan. As you see, maybe the picture is a little bit small, but I will do this practical later on. Uh, we have to start with the test object. It's like a, a protection relay, then a hardware configuration. Then you, you are able to add all test module in series here. Once you start the test, it will start from one, two, three in um, in uh, in this arrangement. Uh, the main point about automatic testing is the common test object data, hardware configuration, test module, no more. And all of this, you will get the one test report uh, for the whole function of this relay. Then you can test this relay and get only one test report. And you can easily in future, if you use the same template, to notify the aging of this protection relay. How? You have the test result, it's the same table every time. And then from your uh, reading, you can very easily not notify, notice that, okay, this is the time it was uh, 0.5 and it become 0.6 and now it is 0.9. Then this is a big problem we have to take care about this relay. This relay maybe is defective. We need to uh, replace it. But if you test at different points, maybe it will not give you the same feedback of uh, this uh, uh, trip time. Uh, a lot of uh, test module uh, uh, are available based on your license for sure. And I will talk about this one in a few slides later. Uh, automatic test plan, once you finish, sure you will get one test report for all. Uh, one of the main points behind uh, the report, it is manageable. What does it mean by manageable? Can I change the test result? No. And we also recommended always to hand over the test report by using the test file, not only a test report, print out or using or using in Word format. You can export in Word format, sure, but we always recommend our customer to use the test report inside the OCC file that it is never uh, uh, be changed and you will get the, the uh, result as it is. One of the benefits, you can manage this, you can add a logo, you can add your company name, you can add your name, and this makes the report look nice very organized, very arranged. And this is something I liked a lot when I was a maintenance engineer and even when I was a commercial engineer, I liked a lot. Why? If the customer asks, I give me my report for uh, for this date, I can easily get it. Uh, give me the uh, whole test report about this relay. It's easy to get it. But if I use a conventional method, I will find many distributed different report for the same relay because I have a different function like over current or distance or other. Sometimes people use a test format, which is you need to handwriting, filling this test format. I don't, I don't like this. We are in a digitalized world now. We would like to have automatic test report coming out from our machine, from, the, our, uh, from our CMC, not to handwrite the test report. Maybe you forget to write the correct answer inside the test format and this will create a problem later on. But if we got it from the uh, CMC directly, you always get the accurate result as well. What else? 
we have some test module which you can insert like execute a command. What is the benefit behind this? In the multifunction relays like line differential RED670, again, I will come to the same uh, example. I have a line differential, I have a distance and overcurrent. Maybe I'm using only one general trip of contact. Okay, then if I'm testing a line differential, for sure, distance will be affected by this. And if I'm testing a distance, the distance uh, output will be affected by line differential because there is a general trip contact. How to overcome this? I have many ways. The first one is you can enable and disable this function as well during testing uh, distance and you are shifting to a line differential or over current. And to do this in a kind of uh, semi-automatic or full automatic, you can use execute command. This execute command will give you the possibility to direct give the command to uh, the relay to change that setting. Maybe you can change from setting a group to a setting a group, or even if you have uh, some relays like uh, maybe SEL, we use the hyper terminal, and this hyper terminal you can create a command that can be executed by this uh, test module. What else? We have also a test view. Sometimes in some relays you will have a log file or measurement file. Once you inject some point and getting the feedback, this test module can read out the data from the log file and to be considered in the test report. And this is something some, sometimes with some kind of relays, it's very important. And one thing else, okay, I have something called the booze module. Why it's important? Okay, from one relay to another relay, uh, to another one function to another function. For example, again, RED670, if I have different trip output uh, and uh, uh, from this one to that one, you need to reconfigure or to rechange the wiring, uh, the wiring uh, uh, connection, how to do it, or you have to check something before going to the next uh, test module. You need something to stop the process and give you the instruction that you have to follow. And this instruction, it can be text as we see it right now. It can be by image. It can be by mix of both. It will give you a highlight, please do one, two, three. Once you finish, you can press continue and it will continue for the further uh, test module as well. Now we are coming to one of the most important thing. I think most of the CMC user rely on it, which is a protection testing library. It's called BTL. This library is free of charge for all of users. Just you can go to a customer portal, you can download it, and we will see how it's how, how it is uh, later on. But the main point here, as we see, we uh, it is uh, delivered with each test universe. If you got your new test uh, universe DVD in the new test kit, you will find it is already attached. Also, you can download it from the website. Uh, and it is free of charge. You can download it all of all in one file, or you can select uh, some uh, dedicated uh, BTL for some uh, relays, and you can use this only uh, uh, BTL. Don't need to download 404 different relay if you don't like to download it all. What what is, uh, how it's look like? We need to uh, use a relay setting. Going to X-ray converter. And as you see, APC, because the X-ray converter, not only for the X-ray, it is also for uh, TXT, CSV, based on the relay type. And after the conversion, you will find the char characteristic will be automatically drawn. And you are able now to do and apply the automatic test. It's a kind of automatic test, ready-made template. One of the benefits is, is open source. What does it mean by open so, uh, open system or open source? Open system, you are able anytime to adapt the tested plan. Maybe some something is extra I don't like, you can delete. Maybe some is missing, it's not covered in this uh, BTL. You, you need to add, it's very easy. Just add the test module and it will work fine. No OCC scripting. Scripting is already done by our engineers 
in Germany in our uh, office in Erlangen. Only just you need to do link to X-ray. It's very easy. It's kind of right click link to X-ray value. X-ray converter uh, models uh, the relay as uh, completely as possible, and the test template cover main and frequently used function. If you would like to add more, you can easily add more. If you would like to delete, you can delete. You are free to modify and adapt. Uh, BTL component. It's a kind of three three steps, uh, three components. Step one, import filter. Step two, X-ray converter. Step three, test plan. Let's do this with actual example. I have here ABP uh, software, PCM. This is uh, uh, ABP relay uh, RAD670. Just you open uh, parameter setting, right click, and select the parameter setting, which is already available here. Then go to file, file, export, and give a name. Maybe I will name it webinar. Save. And don't forget the format is x ray or TXT and some other relays and CSV for GE, for example. Step two, select open protection testing library. It will offer all, most of the relay manufacturer in the list. I have to select ABB. I have to select the suitable firmware, which is very close which is very closed, which is very close to, uh, do you hear me? I got a notification that. Uh, I, 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 yes, uh, Ibrahim, okay, there were some, some uh, comments saying uh, the audio is not good. So I closed your video so that the bandwidth yeah. uh, takes care of that. So, but your screen is sorry. okay. You can continue. Uh, I would like to say sorry for the, uh, the difficulties because of the internet, but don't worry. We are recording this, and I think the recording video will be very clear. I hope this. And please, don't forget, we are here to answer your all question. Even after the webinar, just send your question, and believe me, we will uh, we will uh, answer your question. Again, you have to select the firmware which is already available inside this relay. My relay, so it was 1.2.3, then I will select 1.2. This is a BTL uh, file. Just open. We have 84 different test module objects already programmed inside this BTL. Once I open it, you will find this is a test object. This is the hardware configuration. And also, we show you how to connect for the voltage, current, trip, and CB auxiliary. Also, you will find all test modules are available. About, about 84 different test modules. Do I need all of these? You are free. You can download, you can delete, very easy. You can uh, also uh, uh, add more. You are free to modify. You can delete as, as you see here. Okay. We already exported the X-ray. We need to import it here. This is the first step. Second step is to check the hardware configuration. Third step is to start the test plan. Let's start with the import the uh, relay setting. Double click. This is a test object, how it's look like. Then file, import relay setting. When I insert the uh, uh, import the relay setting, you will find most of the format is already supported here. TXT for all the Ariva, CSV for GE Inner Vista software. We have even some uh, other relays which maybe is not available in your market for Matsubishi, for uh, uh, NSE from Switzerland, for example. <coughs> and we have uh, SEL, Switzerland. We have many, many or more. One of the standard format is X-ray files that you will find it here. We will use it. And also for the good news is 
some clay manufacturers they start to develop their own filter like abb for example you will find it here abb developed by themselves this filter and we imported import this in our software i will use the standard now and also i will show you that even the standard is still working fine okay i will select the exported one if you remember it was named by a webinar then waiting for how many parameters is already imported with a very simple uh, clicks oh very good we have our, our 467 parameter it's already imported and the most important thing zero error maybe some of you he will complain okay i tried this but i found that okay i have some errors then uh, i will tell him you have to check the firmware version of this relay if it is not available just contact us we will try to provide you the, the suitable file if it is available in our list and if not we will promise that we will consider your feature uh, or your uh, your question as a feature wish for you and once we will update it we will come back to you with the new file then okay and after this press again okay now first step is finished for the uh, for the second step you have to check okay you need a three phase voltage three phase current maybe more you can change it without uh, any issue check that current and uh, current and voltage are available binary input trip is already available and uh, cb auxiliary in case you would like to use sometimes you need a binary output you have to configure it and this is used for a transducer output we don't need it right now but this is used for end-to-end -end test mostly we use the cmgps 588 for such kind of application then i will press ok and i'm ready now to start my application as you see i can open one of uh, the test module you will see that the characteristic is already implemented without anything even the test points are available also as you see right now it's become very easy, but be careful about one point. This is programmed for a universal. Maybe some customer has a forward and reverse. Some customer has a non-directional as my example right now. Then we always offer a point on the line, line, line uh, angle. And for search and check, you will find at zero at line angle 90, 270. Uh, 270 and the 180 then sometimes you will find here this point is zero useless you can delete if you remember i i deleted all and also you can delete only one test point let's do it if you would like to only delete one test point as you remember as you uh, as you remember i already mentioned it's an open system you can modify you can add more for example, here, all zeros is useless. I will delete shots. Then I have only the points which I need to test. Maybe I need to make zoom to make it more clear for you. Just I will select the other point and you, as you see right now, all points are available. Can I add more? Yes. Maybe I need this point. I have it available here and you can add many more. I hope this is clear for you. And uh, the good news behind this, if you have a differential is active, it, it will activate this uh, checklist, but here it's not active. Let's try to activate it from here, not from the relationing. Is it possible? Yes. Let's show you how to do this. This is a differential. It's very similar to the PCM. Okay, I have it on. This is for extra setting. And also we have here something called additional information. For the additional information, you would like to select the current input and the voltage input, which TRM uh, card is used in this relay. All those information, you will find it on your desktop. Once you installed the BTL, you will find 
uh, file called PTL folder. Maybe it's not available here, but you will find a BTL uh, folder here, or you can also get it from the uh, C, partition C here, and then program data, and Omicron, then you will find BTL, as you see here. In the BTL, then I will open the file, the relay which I, I used. You will find a PDF attached with each uh, BTL folder. And this PDF will tell you the firmware version and how to connect, what is the function is already covered, what is not covered, how to deal with this PTL. Uh, I think uh, it is very clear if you uh, go through each PDF before starting your uh, BTL or OCC file. Then I think we have to go back due to time. And as you see here, you can download it from uh, customer portal free of a charge. Just only register, please register it's free of a charge. If you have uh, a CMC or any kind of device manufactured by Omicron has a serial number, you can able to register in this customer portal and it will enable you to download an individual or even all in one uh, file for the whole 404 different uh, uh, test plan. You can use even the BTL in uh, a manual testing, yes, but what does it mean? You, you can use the X-ray converter with using uh, QuickCMC, but it, it's a kind of uh, more effort and more time because it's a manual test. And may, maybe uh, I will show one example. I have here X-ray, uh, QuickCMC, and inside QuickCMC, I need to test, for example, distance. Then how I, uh, how I manage, I have to start with the test object then file, import, I have to select the X, the X, uh, X Rayu. Here, the BTL folder, this is the ABB. I have to select the same relay. You will find this will be converted to Typically, as we saw before, file, import relay setting this time, I will select the filter of x -Rail. Same as we selected before. I got the same message, this is something fine. And now once I select here distance, ZI constant, for example, it takes some time, you will find this Z impedance view, for example, impedance, impedance view. Here, if I select ZI constant, you will find the same graph here. And also you can test by using uh, quick CMC in, uh, in help of X-ray converter. This is one of the feature uh, you can use it in case you don't have a license for OCC, but I am always recommend our customer to use uh, OCC uh, license because it will it will save time and it will rise the quality of testing. Okay, uh, it's a very simple here as you see. Quick CMC can be done uh, used. Uh, you can use also. Uh, uh, the normal VTL by using the X-ray converter. From uh, DIGZ, you can get the uh, uh, setting file X-ray from uh, uh, Listom Agile, from BCM, from InnerVista, CSV, from QuickSet, from uh, 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 Schweitzer, uh, SEL. Any kind of relay which is supported, you can do it without any issue. The last information for you, please note that the BTL cannot enable unskilled stuff to do relay testing, but PTL 
can save the expert time, which is your time. This is a very, very important information. That's all from uh, the second topic. Uh, I'm ready now for the third topic, right. but... Uh, yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for that topic, uh, covering that topic, uh, Ibrahim. Uh, we are uh, um, 10 minutes, 12 minutes behind the schedule, so we will uh, skip uh, some of the poll questions if that is okay with you but uh, one of them which is important for us uh, is to understand the kind of relays which are available with different customers so there is a poll which is open on the type of relays that you have uh, or you are testing please uh, respond to this and uh, with I think with this uh, poll we can start with the third session Ibrahim so that we can cover the technical part completely. There are some questions which are coming uh, to me. Um, I'm replying to them privately right now, but we'll see if the end, if at, if at the end we have time to discuss it here also. Otherwise, we will uh, reply to all of your questions through email privately. All right, uh, 64 people have voted. So maybe 10 more seconds, and then I will close this poll. All right. So thank you very much for responding. Um, the Just for uh, Ibrahim's uh, knowledge, the the Output of the poll says 59% ABB, 27% uh, Siemens, 5% uh, Schweizer, and 9% are others. So that's for your information, Ibrahim. So uh, this is anyhow, a good, uh, good for me to tell you that 100% we are supporting you in our BTL because all of uh, those relays are already available on the list. Even some other, you can find it also as well. One of the 400 different relays. Great, so now you continue with the third topic. And meanwhile, if you have any questions about uh, uh, automatic testing, please put it in the questions. Over okay, to you, Thank Ibrahim. you very much. Thank you very much, Aditya, for your effort. And also, I would like to thank you all that you attend uh, this session and uh, invest your time with us. Thank you very much. We promise that to uh, deliver um, uh, the good and uh, more uh, information for you and also we are waiting to uh, to share your experience with us um, through that kind of webinar or even after this webinar. Now it's uh, one of the most innovative uh, topic that actually we own in Omicron. Uh, as usual Omicron always develop new new software which is not uh, like Azure, always we have an innovative step in advance. Uh, uh, that's why we have a relay synthesis. It's a kind of innovative software. Why we need it, uh, and what what does it mean by relay so uh, relay synthesis? Actually, it is a system-based uh, protection testing, and uh, this universe is used for parameter setting uh, based testing. And what is the different? The difference is uh, this universe, as you saw already in the previous uh, uh, topic, we used the exported relay setting, exported from the relay, to test the relay performance against this parameter setting. But is this parameter setting fits my protection system or my system requirement? I don't know yet. Maybe a uh, uh, wrong setting calculation maybe wrong uh, configuration, maybe something like this, maybe not consider that the CT saturation uh, to be compensated inside this relay. Maybe the relay is not able to overcome the charging current in my system. All of these conditions not tested by the conventional testing, whatever Omicron or even not Omicron. That's why uh, uh, Omicron implement and uh, develop a new tool to be side by side to the test universe to overcome such scenarios. 
and we called it relation test. From the name, uh, it's similar to real simulation. And real simulation, it, it is a very simple and will give you a lot of benefits. One of the benefits is improve the quality of the testing. Why? We cover what we missed from the test universe used. Not only the test universe, we missed from the conventional testing. Like what? Like a lot of uh, transient behavior, which is not considered by any kind of uh, uh, conventional testing. What else? We can also save a lot of uh, time during our testing. It's very easy and easy testing independent of protection complexity. Why? We are not interfere with the relay parameter setting. We don't care about what inside the relay, but we care about the behavior of that relay. Is this relay suitable to my uh, protection scheme or not? If not, then I have to remove. And the good news behind this also, it doesn't matter. It is X, Y, Z from the relay manufacturer. It is testing all at the same test at the same condition. It's a real simulation for the same fault which the relay will face during the fault condition. This is one of the benefits behind this. Relay same test, it, uh, it is very uh, easy and very simple. And one of the main function is transient simulation. As you see here in the graph, it's transient simulation, we only just need to draw our topology, our network topology, whatever it is a symbol line, whatever it is a complete substation, or even a complete system with an, or for the whole network, it doesn't matter. Relation test, able to analyze and calculate all the behavior to simulate a real simulation for all scenarios. The scenarios is not only uh, a fault condition, it is also for normal operation. For example, if I have a line differential and the charging current compensation is not active and it is a long transformation line, maybe the charging current will, will push the relay to operate and give you a mess operation. Maybe something else in the distance, if I have a mutual coupling, which is not considered in, in my protection uh, my protection scheme, this may be lead to a mess operation for overreach and underreach. Maybe else the CVT, uh, transient behavior not considered, this should be also considered. Uh, and as you see here, it's a, uh, it is a software just only required from you to draw your uh, protection system uh, topology, which is a uh, very easy. And even we are supplying you with a template that you can use. I have a good news for all of you that you are able to use relay same test free of a charge, not with the connection of the CMC, but you can use it offline. Is it important for me as a testing or as a maintenance or as a utility uh, engineer for setting calculation? Yes. Why? Because the software will give you a real calculation and real uh, contract, not real, but real simulated uh, contract file that it enable you to understand more your power system. Believe me, uh, this is a very important tool for all of you. Try to use it even without purchasing the license. I'm offering this. Please try to download it free of charge from the customer portal. Try to do your own simulation and you will get all the benefit. And at the end, once you need to test your protection system, you can ask for the license that you are enable you to use a CMC to generate this contract file to be injected in your relay. The second one is C, uh, relay same test, able to control multiple CMCs at the same time. In some application, you need only one CMC. In some other application like end-to-end -end for uh, uh, line differential, you need more. In some other application, for bus bar differential low impedance, maybe you need five or 10 CMC. Maybe some of you will say, oh, 10 times, it's a very costly solution. Then no problem, you can use only one CMC and make sectionalize 
for your system to be tested about each part separately. And once you finish, you will get an overall for all of them. This is one of the uh, solution which is required. Also, we have iterative closed loop for testing in case you have auto closer uh, in your system and you would like to use the iterative closed loop feature, it is already available with the releasing test. One important behind this, we are test, we tested already our uh, our uh, distance protection and it gave us past. But the main point is, is my relay setting is it is compatible or it is uh, correct uh, for my protection scheme? I don't know yet. Only I tested the parameter setting inside the relay. What does it mean? It means that I, I am comparing one which is inside the relay with one which is injected by CMC. It's very easy to the R, the, both are equal. But the main point is the one is not only one, the one it can be analyzed in many other components, which is 0.25 plus 0.25 plus 0.5 minus 0.25 plus 0.25, which is complicated little bit compared to a very straightforward testing. And this is the real, this is uh, the normal situation during the fault condition. Uh, uh, Releasing test can cover, as you see, we have two color here, arrow, the gray arrow and red arrow. Uh, the red arrow is covering more than the conventional testing, which is a gray arrow. Uh, it can cover also com uh, communication failure. And as you know, communication, it's become one of the main player tool uh, used in our network. For example, for line differential, if we have any delay, maybe it will lead to misoperation. And to discover this, Glacian test can do it easily, side by side with the, uh, with the test universe for sure. Uh, relay, uh, relay failure, mal operation, it can be used by uh, conventional testing and releasing test. But incorrect setting logic design error can be uh, checked by releasing test, which cannot be done by conventional testing. Why? Because in the conventional testing, you need to get the setting from the relay. Even if it is wrong, you, you have to compare what is inside the relay with the real sim uh, with the simulated as uh, related to this parameter setting. Improving the test quality, one of this, uh, as we all, uh, always say that we have a multi-function and uh, the whole function inside this relay can be tested by a relation test and compared with the expected behavior. We are not focusing on only one protection function. We are focusing on the overall performance out of this protection relay inside our, our protection scheme. And as you see, the red square show us we are testing the complete entire protection scheme, not only the behavior from only one relay. Can we do it for only one relay? Yes, for sure. But relation test is more than this. <clears throat> it is a very simple uh, 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 software, which is required only three points. Line impedance, which is must be available. And we recommend it to get a measured line impedance, not calculated line impedance, a short circuit level or short circuit current on the buses, CT and BT ratio, and we recommend not only CT and the BT ratio, CT test results from the CT analyzer or the CT class with the other data to be considered because the relation test will simulate the saturation behavior of the CT. It is independent of uh, relay type and manufacturer, only a small amount of uh, parameter requirements uh, and test, test cases created in less than one minute, setup effort independent of protection complexity. It is, uh, av it is available with a mini template internally, which it will help you. At the same time, you can use it for bus bar differential, local bre uh, breaker failure, and end-to-end -end, end -end for line differential, protection uh, scheme with distance and overcurrent as well. It, is, it can be used uh, uh, with the, without any coordination with the other side, no phone required as a conventional testing. It's only uh, one PC can control both ends, 
troubleshooting from one PC and for sure one report are available is available. How it's look like? Let's give an example. We have T connection, three terminal. Each terminal has a relay which is connected to a CMC, and each CMC is looked to a time synchronized. And all of these connected through a cloud. One DC is the main control for all of those. And if you have a direct communication, you don't need uh, these two C, uh, BCs. One BC connected to three of them <coughs> at the same time, and you can perform your uh, test. In case we don't have, no, don't worry. You can use the internet speed or a, a internet network to control the far remote one and you don't care about the speed of the internet, even if it is uh, 2G or 3G is more than enough. If you have <clears throat> your mobile able to uh, use it uh, for a hotspot, it's more than enough to control the uh, remote end. It is uh, simplified logic uh, testing. And as we mentioned, work with end-to-end -end test, similar result when you use a real-time simulation, just to drop a fault relation test learn. The system logic, but itself, you you can set a kind of AR because of the um, uh, because of the uh, auto uh, uh, auto closing uh, philosophy, which is implemented internally, iterative closed loop, and also simplified the testing of switch on to false breaker fail auto closer source uh, transfer, and also uh, system restoration can be used also using uh, relation test. Um, what else? It's a very simple, only three uh, three steps. Draw your topology, allocate a fault, connect your CMC, start the test directly. And it is, uh, even it is a very simple, it can be used for a complicated and comprehensive situation like power swing, transient ground fault, time domain function. It is very important. This we'll talk about this uh, in dedicated webinar, which we call the traveling waves. The new modern uh, protection, the fastest one worldwide, can be tested by relation test with accessory with the CMC, and we are the only one worldwide uh, who can test traveling wave neither than the relay manufacturer uh, hardware. A transient challenge like series compensation can be tested by uh, using relation test CT saturation, adaptive protection testing as well. This is how it look like. We have the system topology. We have the generated contract file. This is the measurement area. All of these can be worked offline, by the way, because of that I told you I advise you to download the software, to install it in your PC, and to start to play with this, and it will give you a lot of information for your system. Once you feed uh, the power system um, topology with a real uh, uh, parameter, it will give you a real, a calculated uh, uh, result and this is a very good and wonderful and in case you would like to know how to start this there is a video available on youtube around 20 minutes it will give you step by step how to draw this and uh, one of the application here uh, that uh, relation test help a lot to discover uh, we has a we, we 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 have one issue uh, with a customer, he complained that uh, he has a problem. He didn't he didn't discover this uh, with a conventional uh, way. The issue was unexpected trip uh, uh, for fault at the success, successor line, and it was actually wrong coordination of the protection uh, from the remote relay. How we uh, discover this by using a relation test? Very simple. Once you apply uh, the test, we got. Uh, the mal tripping from this one. Why? Because relation test able to control multiple CMCs at the same time and simulate even the fault overreach or outside the protected zone. Uh, uh, we got the feedback and we found that problem and we uh, discovered this. Um, very flexibility for all cases, uh, almost auto closing, uh, series compensated line, three terminal line parallel line with a mutual coupling, and uh, teleprotection and the line differential, power swing, uh, bus power protection, transformer differential protection, insulated and compensated network, 
and breaker and half, all kind of uh, protection scheme because or uh, substation scheme. Only just you need to draw it, and it will be ready. And it is also a combined application between uh, different, uh, uh, like teleprotection with auto closer or even teleprotection with a transformer in zone. Uh, also distributed loop scheme for distribution company if they own a sectionalizer and uh, reclosers can be tested using uh, uh, Arco 400 in, ha in help of releasing test as a software. That's all from our side. I hope we are on time. Sorry to be a little bit fast in this topic because I want to catch the time. I think two minutes, two, two minutes only more. And this is now time for questions. Yeah, that's perfect, uh, Ibrahim. Thank you very much. Uh, so now uh, we have some time uh, left for discussions. If someone want to come online and ask questions, uh, please uh, um, raise your hand and I will uh, enable you to, to, to speak if you have any questions or something. Meanwhile, uh, we have some uh, um, some questions for you as well. Um, so this is the one. So just to understand whether this topic is of some importance or relevance to you, the topic of end-to-end -end testing. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Anyhow, uh, there is. Uh, I'll, Ibrahim, can you send the the presentation, um, uh, the the presenter role to me, so that I can uh, share some additional information, yeah, some sure, follow up sure. steps. I will do it. Yes, I will do it. So. Okay. Okay. Um. Last. Uh, now, if I can show my screen now. Yeah. So, um, for. For the last part of the presentation, um, we have some additional webinars which are coming on a different topic. So we have completed this one today. Now the next one is on trans uh, instrument transformer testing. Uh, that is next week, same time, uh, same day. And uh, the third one is for uh, transformer testing, power transformer testing. But however, if you are only focusing on protection and you want to know more, uh, then you can go to our website. I have sent a link on the on the chat and you can see the online trainings which are being uh, lined up by our international team, which you can um, enroll and register and then you, they will be more detailed on uh, on these topics. And hopefully that would help you. If you find something that is not there and you want to discuss with us or want us to do a session on that, um, you have our email address and please send that to, to us. I will put my email address in the chat. Please uh, let me know if you have some specific uh, requests and we will try to do them uh, in, a, in this time period. Anyhow, um, so this was the thing, and last poll is is uh, I'm opening up last poll. Um, okay, so this is a last poll uh, from your understanding of what we have uh, showed today. 
do you think it will help uh, in your particular requirement in your particular uh, situations so that's it i have two questions which are uh, okay there is one question which mr ola dabo is asking so uh, i'm unmuting you please uh, ask the question hello good afternoon good afternoon yeah uh, the question i want to ask is uh, is this video going to be available are you going to share this video of this training with us yes this is a recorded webinar we are recording this and you will get this the session uh, detail completely uh, you will get it, an email with the link to view it and download it thank you very much thank you you're welcome thank you